Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to make a video on how to use your calculator to uh, do factorization. Um, right here I have the um, Casio 570 ES Plus. Now, um, of course, I'm going to do the video for the other calculators as well, but I'm going to start off with this one first. Okay. Now, um, say so, say we want to uh, perform factorization. So the first is this x squared plus 6x and minus 27. Okay. Now, of course, factorization meaning you would get two brackets, so one bracket and two bracket. Okay. Now, um, the easiest way is by using the calculator, and we can do that by using this mode here. So, uh, we go ahead and press mode, and uh, you will see that there is um, this EQN number 5. Okay. So, you go ahead and press 5, and you will see 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay. So, for factorization, we would have to select number 3. So go ahead and press number three, and you will see that you've got A, B, and C. Okay. Now what is what what are A, B, and C? So um, every quadratic equation is arranged in the form of a x square plus b x plus c. So in this case here, uh, we will say that this is a x square, okay, and then plus b x plus c. So this means that the a number here is one. The B number is 6, and the C number is negative 27. So I go ahead and press those numbers into the calculator. So I just press A, I press 1, I press equal. Uh, B is 6, so I press 6, I press equal. Uh, the C number is negative 27, so negative 27, and I press equal. Then we could press equal one more time, and you will get two numbers. Now the calculator gives you X1, which is 3, and uh, there's another one down here. If I go ahead and press down, I get x2 equal to negative 9. So what the calculator does is it gives us the two uh, answers or solution for this uh, quadratic equation. So again, first number is 3, so that means now x number equal to 3, and uh, the other x number we got is negative 9. So x is equal to negative 9. Now to put that into the uh, bracket, it's just doing this. This is a positive 3, so in the bracket becomes x minus 3. We just uh, reverse the value. This is x negative 9, so in the bracket becomes x plus 9. So those two are the factors for this question. Okay. Now, of course, um, sometimes we have a different situation. So let's consider another situation. Let's say now uh, we have to factorize this x squared minus 8x plus 16. Okay. Uh, again, you will get two brackets. Okay. Two brackets here. So same method, okay. So I press AC. Now it comes back to this screen again, where I can have A, B, and C. So once again, this A is one, B is negative eight, and C is sixteen. So I go ahead and type one, press equal. Uh, then next one is negative eight, equal, and sixteen, equal. Okay. I have to hit equal one more time, and now I get x equal to four. But notice that here now the x is equal to 4. There is no x1, there is no x2. Now what this means is that the two brackets, they share the same value. And since the x number is 4, there's only one solution. So because x number is only 4, this means that, again, here is positive 4. So in the bracket, it becomes x minus 4 and x minus 4. So now I've got two brackets which are the same. These two brackets can also be written in the form x minus 4 bracket square. Okay, that's number two. Now, the uh, third situation where we would encounter with factorization would be like this. Say now we have 6x squared plus 17x plus 5. Okay, now obviously we will get two brackets, so 1 and 2. All right, um, same process, go back to the calculator, hit AC to get back to the screen. Okay, so now notice A number is 6, B number is 17, and C number is 5. So I go ahead and press 6, press equal for the A, uh, B number is 17, press equal, C number is 5, press equal, and one more time, that gives us one value. However, notice this time the value is a fraction. So, X number is negative 1 over 3, but there's another one, okay, another one, so I press equal to to get that number, and I have negative 5 over 2, so X is equal to negative 5 over 2, okay. Now, how do I write that in the uh, bracket? Well, uh, since it's a fraction, what we're going to do is we're going to write the denominator first. That is 3, so which means 3x. Okay, The uh, numerator is negative 1, but we have to reverse that value. So if it's negative 1, we write plus 1. 
This second answer, the denominator is 2, which means it's 2x. The uh, numerator is negative 5, which means it's positive 5. So you just reverse the value. Okay, that's the third situation. And now for the final situation, uh, say we are going to do this 4x squared minus 13x plus 17. Okay, so back to the calculator and I'm going to hit AC to get back to the screen. Okay, so uh, this time notice A number is 4, B number is negative 13, C number is 17. So 4 equal negative 13 equal and 17 equal and of course equal one more time uh, notice there's a big i at the end what this means is that this quadratic equation cannot be factorized so which means there are no roots we have no factors okay all right um, i will also show you guys how to use this calculator to do simultaneous linear equation if you remember uh, say if you are given 5m plus 3n equal to 7, that's one equation, and the other one is m minus 6n equal to 8. Okay. Now we can use the calculator. The mode is rather similar, so I'm going to press AC. Let's press this mode again. Uh, remember number 5, EQN. Okay. So I press 5 for EQN, but this time uh, we don't press 3. 3 is for quadratic equation because there's an x square here. So we press number 1. So I press number 1. You see there are two rows here. All right. So the first row is for the first equation. The second row is for the second equation. Now again, uh, in this case here, we've got 5, 3, and 7. So how it works is this way. Okay. The, for the first equation, that'll be a1, b1, c1. Okay. For the second row, this will be a2, b2 and c2 okay uh, just remember that this m has got no number which means by default that number is one okay so going back to the calculator okay so a1 the first one is five so five equal and then the next one is three so three equal and the next one is seven so seven equal when i do that notice how it jumps to the second row so for the second row the first number is one equal and we've got negative 6, so negative 6 equal, and we've got 8, so 8 and equal. Okay, I, I have to press equal one more time, and that gives me 2. So what this means is that um, the answer, m equals 2, if I press equal to one more time, I get negative 1. So that means n equal to negative 1. Of course, we have to understand that the calculator only understands x and y, and because we took m first, followed by n, Therefore, this will be the x, this will be the y, okay? So this is how we use the calculator to do uh, simultaneous linear equations. I hope this video helps you guys. Uh, I'll make a next, uh, in my next video, I'll, I'll, I will show you guys how to use the uh, other calculators uh, as well, all right?